How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to farm the Gloom Monstrosity set that I use in my Venomous Boss Destroyer build video. If you haven't seen the video yet, go and check it out on the channel. It's really nice. You can delete a ton of different bosses with it. But anyway, the Gloom Monstrosity set is what I use in that video. It is a ability power, crit power accessory set. It is fairly simple to farm. You're still going to rely on RNG in certain areas, but Hopefully with this video, you are going to be getting it in no time. So if you like this video and you want to see more Wayfinder content, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be dropping a ton of different build videos as the Wayfinder season goes on. But anyway, just starting out, if you don't know, most sets in this game require two pieces that you actually farm and then one piece that you go and craft. For the Gloom Monstrosity set, that piece is the Shadow Ink Journal. You can only get it at level 27, and the slots that you can get on it are totally random, okay? I have double attack slots. How did I get double attack slots? You go to the Relic Crafter, which, if you don't know where he is, he's in the middle of Skylight in the Market Row area next to the Weapon Vendor. You go and you do Relic Crafting. You scroll all the way down to the bottom, and the Shadow Ink Journal is right here in the middle. In order to get the perfect roll on these, all you do is craft the item a bunch of times. That's it. So however, you know, lucky you are, that's how many times you're going to craft it to get double attack. If you don't want double attack and you're just happy with, you know, one attack echo slot, then, you know, craft it however many times you feel comfortable. But that's how you do it. You just go craft it at the Relic Crafter and do it until you get the echo slots that you want. Once again, this is only at level 27. Now, for the other two pieces, you're gonna need to go and actually play the game. Uh, and how you're gonna do this is you're gonna be using the shadow infused uh, imbuements. This is, if you don't know already, in Wayfinder, a lot of sets are found actually by putting imbuements on. There are certain sets that will only drop with imbuements on. And this is one of those sets. In order to get it, you're gonna need to go and put on the shadow imbuement. The set will not drop if you do not have this on, okay? So if you don't have shadow imbuement on, you're not gonna see these items. And that goes the same with a bunch of other sets in this game. You might not see any of a certain set if you don't have a particular imbuement on. But this set requires the shadow imbuement, so that's what you're going to do. My personal rec So the quick and straightforward answer is you toss on shadow imbuement and you run expeditions and you hope that it drops. The more uh, efficient method, or at least how I do it, is... I make sure that I'm running on a recommended power that is around 2300. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to end up with an accessory that is either way higher than level 30 and therefore unusable until they raise the level cap, or lower than level 30, in which case you're missing out on stats. And, you know, the last thing you want to happen is to go and be farming this for a day and a half and then it the piece that you want finally drops and it's level 31 or it's level 27 and it's like eh now you just wasted all that time right so my suggestion would be if you're trying to maximize efficiency all right this is the OCD side of me talking you're going to want to go and run the Reaver Woods maps on power level 2,313, okay? So for the Bone Orchard, that is Sphere 2. And for Shrouded Woods, I believe that is Sphere 4, okay? That's going to make it so they're going to drop. If you manage to get one to drop, it's going to be at level 30 maybe level 29 if you're super unlucky maybe you'll see a level 31 but for me personally that's what i do what i also do to min max once i'm actually in the instance itself is i sprint to the halfway point that blocks your progress unless you defeat the gloom in that area and when you defeat the gloom in that area the enemy's level rises 
there's some debate on whether or not this actually makes a difference in terms of the level of the drops, but this is what I have done every single time I've farmed accessories here, and I haven't had an over-leveled accessory that I've been target farming yet. So that would be my suggestion. Just go and jump to one of those areas. That way it boosts the level of all the monsters in the area up. And for me personally, I don't touch any of the gloom towers. I just do that part. For me personally, I've gotten a handful of level 30 accessories um, doing that. Uh, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Again, hotly debated topic, but that is my strategy when I go in and farm. Then I'll go back and I'll defeat all the enemies. I'll open up all the, the chests across the map and I'll open up all the prisoners' cages and hopefully. The item drops again they still have a low chance of dropping so there's a high likelihood that you're gonna have to run these a lot but again my goal for helping you guys out is making so you don't end up wasting time and uh so i hope these tips helped you out and if you want to see more videos like this or you have any questions comments builds you want to see please let me know i'm working on uh a bunch of them and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm working on, let's see, I've got Silo level 30 right now. I've got uh, Venomous level 30. I've got my Heroic Kairos at level 30. I'm just working on, you know, leveling up uh, Senja and Nis. And uh, hopefully with the XP changes coming next week, I'll be able to pump out a lot more content a lot faster. It just takes some time to level these things up. So that's it. That's all you got to do. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to share this around. And that's going to be it for me. Peace.